Uh, as I mentioned, I did a lot of research in the Disney archives uh, for my earlier book, Hollywood Cartoons. About 40% of that book is devoted to the Disney studio and the Disney cartoons, so I had a, I wanted to spend a lot of time with the Disney archives papers. And fortunately, at that time in the 90s, uh, access was quite freely given to, to reputable researchers, and I was able to see a lot of wonderful stuff. Uh, when I began this biography, they had tightened their rules. They'd already given um, access to one other biography, uh, Neil Gabler, who, of course, won the uh, Los Angeles uh, Book Prize last night. Congratulations to him. Uh, and I was not able to, uh, to go back into the archives. This was a limited uh, uh, inconvenience because the material I, I needed to see was mainly uh, stuff related to his childhood and a few other aspects of his career that I had not considered when I was doing the, uh, the, the Hollywood cartoons book. And fortunately, I was able to find a great deal of uh, the, 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 this. I think the uh, one of the hazards of relying on a really good archive, and the Disney archive is a is a wonderful resource, is that it discourages you from going to other resources that might shed better light on certain th subjects than you can get from that particular archive. Uh, Boston University is another example. Is an example of a uh, of a. Uh, uh, a resource that I would not have used if I had been able to go back to the Disney archives, and it has the papers of the first authorized Disney biographer whose biography was suppressed at the insistence of the Disney family. Michael, do you think that they hope to create a spin by allowing one biographer and not you, or was there some larger objective there? Um, I don't, it's, I, I don't think, I think they, uh, I think my understanding is that they had, that they tightened access to the archives because somebody, a researcher who was in there legitimately, had found the document, which subsequently became the basis of a lawsuit against the company. This would this would uh, this would encourage paranoia on the part of the uh, people in charge of the archives. Uh, and uh, I, so I think the I think the uh, I think is my understanding of what happened, and I, this is all secondhand, but is that they did they had decided that they wanted to have a somebody, a reputable biographer, do a, uh, an authorized biography, or not, not authorized in the sense of controlled by them, but I wanted to give a, a reputable biographer a, an entree to the archives and have that have a, a, a new biography written, and uh, Neil Gabler's timing was right. Um, if I had come along, if I had been able to find a pub, the one problem in writing a Disney biography is that publishers <laughs> Are gun shy. They are. They are. They are. They, they are concerned. First of all, there've been too many Disney biographies. They're concerned. Secondly, that, that any Disney book requires dealing with the Disney company, and this creates a lot of nervousness among publishers. I've found uh, Disney has a reputation as being a, being pretty mean, and so uh, they, uh, this was not an issue at all with the University of California Press. We didn't. We didn't it never. Never came up. Um, so I don't think I don't I don't attach any any sinister significance or anything of that of that sort to, to my being excluded and Neil Gabler being let in. I think his timing was good. Uh, mine was unfortunate. Uh, I never had I've never felt any lack of respect for my work at Disney. Uh, and the archivists, uh, even though I wasn't able to come on the premises, were very free with their, in answering every question I had uh, for them about. It. They would check uh, documents. They would check Walt Disney's desk calendar. Things that I was not able to pin down from outside sources, I was able in many cases to resolve by with the help of Dave Smith and Robert Tiemann of the archive staff. So it was it was a, it was an awkward situation. Um, it uh, it had um, it was in some case there, th there are things that probably that I would have in the book if I had been able to go to the archives. But if I had been 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 to the archives, I'm sure there are equally valuable documents and resources that I would not have consulted, and the book would would, would not be any better on balance. So I, um, so it's uh, it's a it was a curious situation, but I I think in, in terms of what uh, I, I, I'm the book I think uh, is uh, the book that result my book as it resulted is as accurate as I could want it to be, and I think gives a, a a stronger sense of what Walt Disney was really like than uh, in any other biography. But thanks largely to the. Uh, the intense uh, interviewing that I did of people who knew him quite well.